Howdy, howdy, everybody. Can y'all hear us okay? First of all, I got this new microphone here. So y'all let me know if y'all can hear us okay, or if we need to undo it, just go with the webcam mic. How y'all doing on this fine Saturday? We got Miss Jennifer in here. Howdy, howdy, Jennifer. Johnny himself, Cajun Roots. Good to have you here, man. His partner in crime, Robert. Good to have you here as well. We got buying space in the house. How are you? Her name is Myra. So Myra, it's noted. Um, he said loud and clear, Colton. Awesome. Shane M's in here. Hold on, go back up to him. And that's a cool, cool picture you got there. Miss Nikki T. Howdy, howdy, Nikki. Buddy, they hit the jackpot yesterday with cards. Rev's 40th birthday, and they loaded up. I seen the Instagram video, and it looked good. Real good. I don't know nothing about cards. It may not have been that good. They only so, do good with cards. We didn't do a video yesterday. We kind of had a hiatus from YouTube for a day. I was planning, I did two parts of Amazon, and I was planning on releasing part two. I was planning on releasing part two on yesterday, but somehow or another they got released together, which is okay. So I didn't have a video for yesterday. We had some things going on around the house we had to attend to. Um, Henry's in here. Howdy, man. Good to have you here. Um, my brother's in here, Eric. He says, howdy, howdy. Um, so today is kind of crazy. So we live in a small town, right? Real small town. And we got some monuments up down here. And the, the protesters are here now. So they've shut the town down. And they shut it down right here in front of my building. So we got, to, I mean, you want, we're going to go outside in a minute. I'm going to live stream it. And we got policemen. They got armored cars out there. It's something like, it's crazy. They were supposed to start marching two minutes ago, but they weren't when we were out there. It's crazy. So, we just over here hanging out because if we wouldn't have got over here early this morning, we wouldn't have been able to get to our building to get no work done for the day. So, we figured we'd come over here, work for the day, and hang out with you guys and gals a little bit. Let y'all enjoy it with us. <laughs> so, plus we need to be here just in case, you know. So, we're going to be over here to get some work done and hang out. So, I don't know... It, protest ain't no big deal, but I mean, this is a little town. We ain't never had no really protest around here. It's been a while. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, here at the Sirens, it's like when in the South, any, I, Nikki T knows, when they mention snow, every, if it's even a flurry, they shut the schools down, they shut the town down, you better get your bread and milk. Well, when this protest is coming, they shut the town down. You better get all your groceries. Everybody is closed. Like all the stores shut down. I couldn't even find nowhere to get lunch earlier. Except for a fast food joint on the other side of town. But everything but was, down through here is closed. It was a pain to get back here, though. Yeah, I liked to not got back in the parking lot. I was actually on the phone with Eric. And, um, I mean, they already had it barricaded up before I could get back down here. So that's what's going on with us today. We did go to some yard sales earlier. So that was wonderful. It was nice to go to some yard sales. We got we got some pretty good stuff. And um, good stuff. yeah, I got some comic books I know nothing about. It's a here we go. But um uh Nikki teaches everything shuts down, Braden. No yep. for sandwiches. Uh Johnny said Yes, you know it in the south. Closed very quick for a single snowdrop. I mean, that's how it is here today. They just shutting everything down for this. Yeah. Hope you boarded up your windows like hurricane is coming. No, but the cops I, are right in front listen, of the building. I'm fine so. with protests. You know what happened was wrong. Let them. You know they need to be some changes made. Protests need to happen. But where I have the problem with it is whenever they start, you know, rioting and destroying things. And breaking into places and hurting people. I mean, ain't no sense in that. That's not getting no point made. That's not getting nothing across. You know, it's not the way to handle it. Jennifer said, y'all don't have door dash for delivery. Not that I know of. Not in this little town. No. We don't. But we're all good. So we're just hanging out here. With it. I mean, if nothing else, it forces us to do some work. I've already started. So. But we, yeah, we went to some garage sales earlier. I got some comic books, printer, oh, a Wii. Hang on. But the comic books, the girl was like, 
rummage for riches in here. Howdy, howdy. Um, Johnny said we were able to go to a few garage sales. Only back thing today, going to a few state sales. But the lines were on both sides of the road were nowhere to park. Mm, I hate when that happens. I went to one like that not too long ago, and I just kind of parked off in the road, you know, and they called the cops out there, so I was blocking the road. But you were behind other cars that were in it, so. But, um, but we, um, those comic books, she brought out two stacks full of them. Y'all see it in the video. I'm either going to release it this afternoon or tomorrow, not sure. But, um, she brings out two boxes full of these comic books. And, um, uh, I know absolutely nothing about comic books. And she says, I said, how much are the comic books? She says, and the first thing she says, was, there's over $10,000 in value there. And I said, uh oh, this is going to be expensive, you know. Sam's in here. And, um, hey, Sam, how's the baby life? And I thought, this is going to be expensive. So I um, went over there. What was the one? She Hulk. She Hulk. And we pulled it. I just seen she had a whole set of them. And I said, well, let me just type it in and kind of get a rough value. So I typed in She Hulk. And then was looking through them, and I noticed the first issue was selling for a pretty good amount of money, graded. And um, so I went over there, and I was purposely hunting this one comic. And we op- we moved like two comics, and there it was. So I said, well, I got some more stuff. Let me pile it up here, and we'll see what we can do for it all. So I said, made the pile. I said, well, how much for the comics in this? She's like, well, the comics are about $10 a piece, and that one set's $50, and I thought, okay, well, I want a price for, you know, give me a bundle deal. And she says, 125 for everything. It was a wee, some Build-A-Bears and stuff. And I said, yeah. I said, how about 110 So I did that going off that one, one comic, comic book. But I know I didn't have time to sit there and research, you know, at the yard. So I researched it what I could. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. Sam said, stay safe, Colton. And then he said, dude, that comic was sweet. Yeah, I, I may. There's a few in there. I'm thinking her. She she had a totally ridiculous valuation of ten thousand dollars, but I'm thinking there's a few in there that's worth a pretty, a pretty good, good penny. So I may send them off to get graded. If I do, I'll document all that with y'all. Just in time, flipping said riot. I'm hoping not. Mickey T said I bought some Delta Bears this morning. What kind did you get? Ramage Rips just bought three Curie knives. At a yard sale yesterday. I don't know what them are. I Guy's dad them bought them over back in India in the 50s. They sound valuable, though. Rev's That's in awesome. here. Howdy, Rev. Hope you had a great birthday. Let me show you the build of bears I got. She got a horse and a dog. I kind of got similar. Well, it's... Similar. It can be like a horse and a dog. I got the Grinch and his dog. See that? Like he's riding them. Well, I said it there, but there's actually two different. Yeah, we got these build bears. I think. Hang on. There they go. They're already hollering. I think he's a build bear. Mm. So those were cool. I thought they were cool as could be. So we just hanging out today. Um, not much going on. I was watching the news this morning. This is completely to do not to do with reselling. But they were talking about the coronavirus and they need to explain to people the proper way to clean and disinfect their home because one in three households clean wrong. And I thought, okay, this is going to be interesting. Yeah. So I left it on there. And the problem is there's people drinking Clorox, like rinsing out their mouth with Clorox bleach, putting spraying their food with bleach, and they're bathing in the Clorox like toilet cleaner, they're bathing in it and the it says the poison center is getting overloaded with calls from this happening. Now, I don't know what would possess you to drink Clorox bleach or eat, eat it, it or bathe yourself in Clorox toilet cleaner. I'm mean, the only reason if, but if I would remotely get the that fact that they have to announce this on the news and make sure you're not doing it. That's very concerning. Extremely concerning. Well, let's see. We're jumping. Nikki T said she also found a Darth Vader Force FX lightsaber collectible. She was excited to find. Oh, that's awesome. Your She's a big Yoda fan, I know. Brother said, I wish I knew to buy Build Bears. I passed several plastic totes for a dollar a piece earlier. Most um, Build Bears are good. I mean, most of them, especially the char- character ones, because some of them have been dis- well, 
Didn't they go bankrupt? What? Build a bear? bear? Yes. I don't know if any of them still open, but I know some of the retired ones can do really well. Shan said, "How can people be so dumb?" It's un- It blew my mind. My mind got same blown. thing that makes you eat Tide Pods. Unreal. What's going on? What's up, Calvin? Man, good to have you here. Can't change. Brain dead. Sam said the president kind of suggested it, and people ran with it. Yeah, I mean, just unreal. Retired good time. Seriously, the only news media would drink bleach. It blew my mind this morning. I thought, seriously, they're going to have to teach people don't eat bleach? I may not. I don't know. Don't know. And then, um... Your brother said Build-A-Bear still open there. Well, I know they closed a lot of them. A lot of them went bankrupt. And yesterday we was doing some yard work. They were mowing the grass and all this, that, and the other. And I went over to the fireworks stand, got me some smoke bombs to run them foxes out from under a shed. So I set the place up in smoke. And I guess they're done gone because nothing run out. Because I was going to run them out and then block off their entrance way back under there. And um, anyways, I went and bought a American flag. And I said, hey, I need an American flag, you know, because flag day is tomorrow to hang up on the house. So I bought this $30 flag plus the pole and everything. It's nice. And I got that thing up, buddy, on the house, and it looked beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I went out there yesterday evening to kind of just admire it. And I look up at this thing, and there's a big old sticker hanging off of it that says Made in China. They did a good job on it, though. It's a nice quality flag. I didn't tell that woman at that store I wanted a Chinese American flag. I said I want an American flag. So now I got a Chinese flag hanging at the house I got to replace. Veggies and fruits can be cleaned with vinegar. Don't use dishwashing liquid or bleach. Or even better, just warm hot water. Yeah. Recycled bleach wash station. I'm telling you, it just blew my mind. What'd you say? Are we blurry to y'all? Can y'all say, are we clear or blurry? I just got a text saying we was blurry. Let them drink the bleach. Everything will sort itself out. Hmm. Sam says people dying drinking fish fertilizer. Trying we to are get... blurry. How are we going to fix this? Unless hmm. we go off the phone. Y'all bear with me just one second here. Blurry, but I'm in the woods. Huh. How do we fix this? Let's just try this. Hang on, y'all. Let it refocus I'm connected itself. to 2G. Yeah, we don't have the 5G here. But we blurry, 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 blurry. Pixelated. Man, step back. I guess do this. Can y'all handle it or do we need to try to fix it? Because if I try to fix it, I may lose out and have to come back in here. Just go ahead and hook to this and then we'll add it. Callie and Picker says it's the internet connection. It gets very possible. Very, very possible. Brother City thinks it's internet here. <laughs> we all know what you look like. Okay. Because I could disconnect from it and try to reconnect if y'all want me to. Brother City, everybody's streaming the protest. I'm going to ignore that comment, Nikki D. That's hurtful. She says that flag be- behind you mm-hmm. looks better this way. It's coming in and out. Lord goodness, we ain't never had this problem. Hold on, what did Thomas just say? Ain't work. He just said, you've never looked better. You didn't see my Instagram picture yesterday, I'm assuming. <laughs> we, I got me some Bubba mm-hmm. teeth. You know, they kind of go up in your mouth and they look horrible. Got me some of them yesterday. When it blurs, it looks like a Canadian flag. Man, that's horrible. I could try to fix it. Maybe we could. He should snaggle too. Disc. Try to connect to the other internet and see what'll happen. It doesn't pull the other one up. That one's ours. That one's not ours. I apologize. I, you want me to refresh this on. and just see? She said that looks good. It looks good now. Yeah, maybe it'll fix it. <clears throat> Looks better, better, better. I didn't do nothing to fix that. I don't know how it happened, but it happens. Uh, no idea. Oh, hang on. It jumped. 
a little better now. Maybe all the radio crap outside. That's a place. very good possibility. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that. Because they're right in front of the door. Like, if I open up that door, there's 15 state trooper cars, uh, two biker gangs, and a bunch of other city cops. Did you say shady cops? City cops. Oh. I thought you said shady. I don't know. So. It's bad when you know you have a motorcycle gang and you don't have monuments. And your monuments are getting protected by your mo motorcycle gang. I mean. I, I didn't even know we had a motorcycle gang around here. News to me. I knew we had one, but I didn't think, like, it's not, like, what you would think a motorcycle gang. I don't know. I'm going to have to go outside and look in a minute and see what's going on. Um, that's not true. You both look better when it's clear pick. Clear, you're good. Better now. Cool, Let's cool. See. Awesome. StreamYard sucks, Ram. Awesome. Just cut up with the uploading. I don't know what I'm not. Open the door. <laughs> we want to say this. I'm not What's a tech guy said? at all. So, how's the sales been for you guys and gals so far this weekend? Ours have been uh, mediocre. Well, we didn't. We haven't. Done I haven't a done, whole done lot. nothing. We I haven't took, done a lot. I took yesterday just like completely off. Like right now, we got seven things sold. So, I mean, that's good. That's like the arm military. It's just the city cops and some state troopers. It's here. I think he was. Talking about the there the biker gang. Oh, uh, I don't know. Natural Bart Maltz toothbrush. We have vigilantes motorcycle gang in mass. Mm. Oh wow! Now I can see you. I thought she was he and he was she. Amazing what technology. Mm. Can't never tell. Just cousin here. Howdy, friends. Hey, good to have you here. Johnny had seven sales last night. Yeah, yeah, she was talking, talking about, about the, the motorcycle club. The motorcycle club. Yeah, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's all we've been doing. Just Your brother out. likes your lamp. Oh, yeah, I got me a new lamp. Y'all check that baby Oh, out. wait, hang on. Look at that. <laughs> got the camo shade, deer antlers. Ain't that cool? Pick that up at a yard sale. <laughs> I got to get a bulb for it. But I couldn't leave it. Could not leave it. Need a horse for me new shotgun. Could not leave it. So, yeah, we got fun at the yard sales this morning. We got to go to how many? Five or six? Mm, something like that. Yeah. Okay, y'all remember that picture we put on Instagram of that woman that was going through all the, the like, donate boxes, and she had them all sprawled out on the, like, in the parking lot? Anyway, we saw her again today, and she was in a truck. But all you seen was her back end hanging out and her feet dangling while she's digging bags out of the donate bin. What are you doing? It was crazy. Once she seen us, though, she took off. Yeah, all you seen was feet hanging out of the and her the, rear end the hanging bin, out the bag, like where you donate stuff. And she's just pulling the bags out, wasn't she? Throwing them in her truck, and she seen us and took off. Yeah, poor blurry. I don't know. I have no idea. Let's see here. Jump. Well, it's still jumping. Like he said, um, I went to my first garage sale this morning. I was there before they opened at 7 a.m. That's early. That's when you find the good deals. We ended up getting our new family members today. 10,000 bees. Oh, that's cool. You Y'all do like honey bees? Better you than me. That's a... Got a pair of walkie expensive business. Got a pair of walkie talkies for me and my son. And so one day he's just jabbering on and Harry's voice another and picked up a channel from the Union Pacific Railroad Engineer. It was classic. That's crazy, ain't that something? Johnny got a lot of great things. Awesome. Can't wait to see yeah. that video. They just started. Yeah, I was watching a documentary on honeybees not too long ago. About um they have a way to test the honey. And the Chinese decided to put sh some kind of sugar syrup in it, cane syrup, and dilute the honey. And it couldn't be tested, you know, so they were selling, saying it was all pure and it wasn't. And a lot of the honeybee growers take all their honeybees to California to pollinate farm. the almond trees. And people were stealing all the honeybees from the, the, um, almond, farm. the almond farm, so... It was just crazy how big of a Kelly Picker wants to know. She said, is. So what is the joke of the day besides the back lady? So 
I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. No, no jokes for today. Estate sale one day. Only at 6 a.m. today, but it was garbage. They hit some sales today. weren't great. Hold on. So glad you guys like the Pillsbury Doughboy canister. It's actually on the shelf now up back there. But I don't think you can see it from the camera. What was it? The Pillsbury. Yeah, it's a, I put it up there on that shelf right up there. I, didn't, I was afraid I'd break it sitting down here. I've been open, close, open, close, open. We got close. our nuke today and they took our boxes. Let's see. Talking about bees. Mm -hmm. Look out for those mur murder hornets. Yeah, I've seen those too. I've been doing very well all of June. I've done 200 gross many times in June. That was good for me. If y'all see me doing this, I'm reading them. But that microphone's in the way. I got this microphone for 10 bucks at a garage sale this morning. That was at the inappropriate garage sale. So, let me tell you this story. I don't know if y'all have ever run into this or not. It was a first for me. Me too. So, we mm -hmm. walked up to this yard sale, and they got this container, and it's sitting back where they're sitting, you know, and under a canopy. But it, it's a closed container. Yeah, and it's kind of frosty. And it's it got... Frosted. Yeah, it was frosted, so you couldn't see any. And they had this big old poster board on it, and it was adult items. No, it says adult toys, 21 and older. At a yard sale. Didn't say if they were new. I don't know. I didn't want to find out. I never seen that before at a yard sale. So I said, what are they going to ID you? Unreal. Andrew wants to know where you guys located greetings from North Carolina. We are in northeast Alabama. Justin, I'm flipping some WTF. That's kind of what was going through our minds. I mean, especially at a yard sale. Yeah, I've never seen that before. I didn't ask if they were selling good or... Didn't ask what they were. Kind of left. I said, well, see y'all later. So that was a first for me. He said, pardon my Spanish. So... We Anderson had to come. Great. We had to get over here earlier. We've been over here since about ten because they shut the road down, so we could make sure we could get in here to work. And um, we cleaned up in here a little bit, a little, a little, bit. A little bit. And she's been listing some clothing we got this morning. I don't know. I wouldn't chance them. Listen, these folks didn't look like the, the kind I wanted to have that conversation with. <laughs> Not at all. So, you just kind of wanted to turn around and not look at nothing else and get in your car and take off. That's what we did. Other yeah. than buying this microphone there. Yeah. I mean, it seems all right so far. It may, it's made by some Chinese newer, newer. Newer. I don't know what it is. Mm, let's see. Every opportunity wasted, you should have asked them about each toy. No. I'd pass. Better you than me. It could be resealed. I don't know. We just left. You should have done a live stream with it. Just left. It'll actually be in the video we put out. Today or um, tomorrow. Yeah, today or tomorrow. You'll see the sign and the yard sale and the folks. And all they had was like Amazon returns. He said, wonder what the mic like was used the, for. The whole yard sale was nothing but Amazon returns. It was new in the box. So I don't know. But we did, we went, they were supposed to have a big, huge community yard sale today in the country club. And this area of the country club is like the really, really high end area for this area. And um, it got, we went over there and we went to one yard sale over there. But come to find out, they canceled. We had two yard sales there. Okay, two yard sales there. But they canceled the community yard sale for the protest. So that'll be next weekend. So we're looking forward to that. So. Yep. It feels good to be able to go out and actually go to yard sales. I mean, there for a few months, it was brutal. Very. But now that we can get out and buy stuff, that's the good thing. It's taking a minute to jump. I don't hear nothing going on outside, do you? I did a minute ago, but... Real quiet. But so. that doesn't mean that the cops aren't on it, though. Or they're not going to start till they get closer to the courthouse. Because, I mean, I nobody's out there. I have no clue. No clue. So, eBay's been hounding me with these managed payment things. And um, are any of you guys and gals on managed payments yet? 
I'm thinking about starting it now. Oh, hang on, it just jumped. They um, okay. I think they said by the end of August or the first part of August they gotta they're gonna do the complete switch over. Just in time, Flippin said we're doing a large fire sale tomorrow at the Grafton Flea opening day. That'd be awesome. Kelly Pickers is high end area, high end toys. This was at in a different town, like the next town over that had those, not the country club. What does that say? Um, I had a guy open a PayPal case against me. He said his purchase was not authorized. Funny thing, this guy gave me positive feedback. Have you experienced this? Yeah, I mean, it could be that somebody hacked his account and um, yeah. bought whatever they bought whatever they wanted, and then just left you positive feedback. But the PayPal account wasn't theirs. I mean, that's possible. But generally what will happen with PayPal is they do chargebacks and there's some scammers out there that will buy stuff completely on eBay, smooth selling on eBay. But then even a month or two months later, you can get a chargeback on PayPal where they're disputing the charge like through their credit card or whatever saying, hey, I didn't make this purchase and that is a complete headache. What eBay's trying to do to combat this, because nine times out of ten, you're going to lose that case. I mean, that's just how it is. But um, they're, they started the managed payment system, so they're kind of processing their own payments. So if you're on that, you don't have to worry about the chargebacks that can come through PayPal. But that situation's like a, it's very, very rare in what you're saying. Like, it, it, it's never happened to me per se, but I've heard people it's happened about, but it's rare instance and i mean you just gonna have to try to fight it through paypal but chances are you may lose that case because it's charged back they're saying they're just just dis disputing it and you may can reach out to ebay for business on facebook explain to them the situation that he's left you positive feedback but he's trying to open a case against you on paypal and probably will if it's the best case scenario you could have happens is he's, he's going to get his money back, but maybe eBay will step in and give you your money and eBay will eat the, the problem. They've been known to do stuff like that. So that's, that's an option for you to try with that. But those chargebacks, I mean, they're hard to fight. I'll let you read your brother's comment. Yeah, I've seen that. But... I'm thinking about starting the managed payments just kind of to get around that. I'm pretty sure I've heard people say the fees are pretty close to the same. So. He said not yet. I was going to do it this past week, managed payments. I think I have enough to start my car. You start off now. Just got to actually get it going. That's good, Nikki T. All things I got this morning, I got to bulk a lot of stuff and pay 30 for it all. I just looked and sold. For our 75. Wow. Nice. If you can get them on the phone, it's a 50 50 battle on the chargeback. Yeah, it's, I've heard like it's, it's a hard fight to do. But maybe, like I say, eBay for business has been good about, sounded like even our parking lot has been good about, you know, kind of helping, especially if they, you know, if they can see the back end of it and link the two together. Maybe. Just truth cars. So I would try that. Eric already filled out the paperwork. Yeah, I'm thinking about starting here in the next week or so. I mean, the only downside is I think they've pretty much worked all the glitches, most of it out. There's a few categories the eBay pay eBay managed payments you can't sell in, but I really don't sell in those categories anyway. And plus, they kind of doing the payment thing where it don't go right into your account then. It's kind of a one, two, three business days later, which, you know, so I'm thinking about starting that up. I mean, might as well go ahead and get on board with it. I mean, it's coming. That's true. I just didn't want to do it when they first rolled it out because, I mean, when you first, e eBay especially, when they first introduced something, it's got a lot of problems with it. But I think now it's good to go. He said, I've had good luck for the past few years on chargeback, but it's gotten worse. I did have one instance of it that happening to me. I sold a snow cone machine and... The person got it, and they never would do nothing through eBay. They wouldn't open up a return. They wouldn't contact me. They just did a chargeback on PayPal. So I 
submitted all the documents to PayPal saying, hey, they bought it through eBay. Tell them to open a return on eBay and, you know, they'll be provided with a label. Send it back. No problems. So I, they ne never did hear nothing from them. And then the day, the like a couple days before the chargeback was done, I actually got the item back. They mailed it back to me, luckily, so I just refunded them and closed it. But um, whenever you have another third party like PayPal out here doing something and they're not on the same page with eBay, it becomes a pain for the seller to contact these people and then have to contact these people and then these people tell you to contact these people. So, I mean, that's just a, been a pain. Sam said, there goes your adult magazine, Empire Fulton. Mm. Eric said, it's like brick and mortar as far as credit card processing. Right. right. So... I mean, it is what it is. I wished eBay would do like every other platform, like Poshmark, Macari, and all this. Is instead of invoicing you like every month, just take the fees out automatically of what you sell. I mean, every other platform is doing it. It's a lot easier because you know these cats. A lot of people are getting on eBay and they're selling for a month, and then they're getting off of it and then they're leaving their invoices, mm -hmm. and then eBay's having to sell off these unpaid invoices to credit card, I mean, to collection Collections. agencies mm -hmm. for pennies on the dollar when they could make, instead of taxing the seller so much more and so much more on everything else. Just pull it out when they get Just pull it. your fees out automatically from mm -hmm. everybody. That's going to generate more income for you because you're not having to sell it to these collection agencies, and you're actually getting paid for Eric said, thing. I've heard they will take fees as we go, except extra fees. Because, I mean, they're they're losing money every month from these folks that ain't paying. I mean, they're getting on there making an account, selling for a month or two months until they go deep out and eBay shuts their account down. They're bouncing out. They're making another account doing the same thing again. Got a neutral feedback from Vegetti. Fire said it doesn't cut good in Spanish. It was a new item. Yeah, you should be... I, I was neutral. That ain't really no big deal. A lot of times, feedbacks like that, negative, you can get eBay to take them off, especially if they're negative, maybe neutral too, saying that the item was new. That's an opinion of the item. You know, it has nothing to do with you being the seller. You did your job. You represented the item as new. You mailed it out on time. Everything was good on your end. I had somebody buy an iced coffee maker from me about a year ago, and it was brand new in the box. I didn't hear nothing for two months, and then they leave me a negative feedback and says, it melts the ice when brewing. I said, okay, it's a coffee maker. It even says, caution, it's hot. You put ice in the cup to cool it off, make iced coffee, right? So I called eBay the first time, and I said, hey, they're leaving me this feedback. They're leaving a product review as a negative comp a negative feedback for me. I, need I want it taken down, you know, and they're like, nope. I ain't taking it down. That's their opinion. They can have their opinion. We're leaving it up there. I said, no, that's a bunch of bull, you know. So I hung up with him. And I called back like two other times. And finally, the third time I called back, the, the person I got said, yep, you're right. We're taking it off. So he removed it. So it all depends on who you get. A lot of it has to do with who you get yeah, on the yeah. phone when you call eBay. I mean, you can call eBay and have try to get something done. And they won't do it. Hang up and call right back. And maybe the next person you get actually cares and will help you. I found that a lot. So if you anytime run into a problem, just hang up, call again with the same issue. And maybe that representative will help you. Just not that said they make more money on the slackers and people that don't monitor their stores. eBay yeah. loves pennies, not dollars. That's a good, that's a could be a good point. Or I've said product review, not exactly. a seller review. 100%. Eric said, I've had somebody leave me a positive feedback with a negative comment. Unreal. Yeah, a lot of times dealing with eBay, I found it's just who you get on the phone with you. I mean, you could get somebody that's going to help you and they know what they're doing, or you get some, you know, they just don't care. Perhaps said, Eric, I would ask for a feedback revision. They need to correct that positive feedback. Yeah, but, I mean, all you can do is ask for a feedback revision. That, I mean, may or may not do nothing. I wonder why we have so many callers. That's the third caller I've heard. I don't know. But, um, mm. he said, he, said yeah, he got, got it, it removed. removed. 
Yeah, so far I've been pretty lucky with it. every negative feedback we've gotten has been either a product review or something that was out of my control that I did everything I could right, but they still feel the need to leave a negative review. So generally, most of the eBay representatives are good about helping you and getting that stuff to call, which I think even now eBay feedback ain't as important as it was, you know, five years ago, three years ago even. I mean, we're still growing. If you're sitting, you know, if you setting it like a 97 percent better i wouldn't be too worried with it because i mean how big of an impact is that really gonna have nowadays that's true especially if people if you do get a negative feedback ebay or even a neutral feedback and even a good positive feedback you can go in there and add your own comments basically your side of the story to these feedback that way if a buyer does come on ebay and says sees this and you say hello i've offered a full refund this is a product review i did my part correct you know responded to the feedback they'll be more likely to buy from you as if you don't and if somebody leaves you a good positive comment or feedback you can actually get on there and comment on their positive too and people look at that you said eric you called today cost me a win at our garage sale competition i still enjoyed the call mm. Eric said, I have two now, but I have to wait for product return to process. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. That's just all part of it. I got a negative for a sealed item that didn't work, and they didn't want to return it. See, that's that's unreal. People do that all the time, too. Oh, HD's busting and out. <laughs> it did not cost him the win. He was already beat. Mm -mm -mm. So whenever we go to, um, what was I about to say? I don't know. Man, my mind just went blank. What was we talking about? Feedback? Mm-hmm. No returns? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. I was going somewhere with it, but I completely I'm just... Just, leave my car just lost it there for a minute. We've been hearing all kinds of car horns in our parking lot. Yeah, no return. That, that is odd. $300. Yeah, and I've seen Justin over at RVA Flips posted a video the other day saying something about the free returns that don't matter anymore, that eBay will just... I didn't watch all of it. But I, I know used to, like, if you did free returns, you could use that as leverage against him and say, hey, I offered him a free return. He wanted to keep the item anyway. So, and you can get the negative feedback from it that way. But I don't know if they've changed it now or not i've had to do that before too saying hey i've contacted this guy three times told him i'd give him a refund and i ain't heard nothing so there's a white truck in our parking lot but i don't know if it's a cop truck because it's a new truck or if it's somebody's truck but mm. i used to be whenever we first started ebay i was like always hearing all these people talk about feedback 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 and i was kind of didn't you know new to ebay I would do everything. I'd freak out if somebody complained or sent me a message, you know, or opened up a return. I didn't want a negative feedback. So, like, if somebody would send me a message and um, say, hey, is there something wrong with this? Like, I would just completely refund them. I'm sorry. Keep the item. And now that I've done this for a little bit, I've realized, you know, don't do that because I've lost some money doing that. And now it's just kind of a okay, I apologize, send it back for a refund. And actually, most people now make send the item back because especially if you're new to eBay, what I found when I had less than, say, 300 feedback, it happened a lot. People would come fishing. And you know whenever they're fishing for a refund or something, especially when it's out of your control, when they completely don't open up a return, if you receive a message about an item and there's no return open, it should make the little tinglys on your neck go off saying, okay, well, let's, let's approach this message with caution because this guy may be fishing. If he's fishing for a partial or a refund, let him fish, you know? So now like I can kind of tell him somebody's fishing, especially if it's something that was disclosed or if I didn't know about it or something like that, don't freak out and just say, Hey, here's your money back. I'm so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. I mean, eBay has processes set up for this. 
So make them open up that return, you know, if they got an issue with it. Make them send the item back, unless you don't want to pay for the shipping back. I mean, if you don't want to, don't. But I found on a lot of items, if you kind of push them into that, a lot of times you can tell if they're not really wanting to return it and they won't, like you just never hear from them. That was again. like that N64 we sent. Right. There's a, You got to be careful because there's so many people out there that will fish at you trying to get something. And if you just kind of say, hey, open up a return on eBay, a return label will be provided to you. I'll refund it once I receive it back. I mean, maybe 30 or 40% of that, you may never hear back from the people again because they really didn't want to return the item. They just want to, you know, kick back. Eric said, I ran to a reseller today at a yard sale, and he said he has people return, request return on electrons. He told them to show a picture of a non-working unit in a bathtub of water. Then he would refund. That's a way to do it. Sounds like he which isn't is, fond of returns. Which is kind of pitiful that we have to do that, you know, nowadays. But, I mean, it's like Walmart, you know, they have to take, they're taking back items that are used people buy something use it for a week and then return it i mean we're kind of in that same boat where you mm. sell something during the pandemic or whatnot people use it for a month and ebay actually extending out the return time so you may have sold a week for 150 bucks a month ago and now the pandemic's winding down you may start to see a lot of returns on them type of items because they've used it got what they wanted they were stuck at home and now they're they're tired of it you know so, I mean, it is what that's it just is. a possibility. We haven't seen that. But, I mean, it could happen. I had a return opened up in February, the first part of February. And in April, the end of April, I tried to get it closed. And eBay said, no, we're not closing returns due to the pandemic. And they were giving them, like, three or four months to send the item back. And I'm like, hey, it's been three months. This cat ain't sending this item back. I need this return closed. And finally, after three or four times of talking to different people, I finally got it closed. But, I mean, it's just bad that we have to do that. And as a seller, you know, you, you can kind of, once you do this a little bit, you can tell when somebody's trying to pull one over on you. Especially or, the new people. when You notice that they only have, like, But when you're new, zero, I mean, you don't like know three. anything. I didn't. And, I, and once they open that return, they can't leave you a feedback. So, no matter the issue, even if you're going to refund them a partial and do That's a partial a refund, time. have them open up the return on eBay. Like, as soon as somebody sends me a message saying something's wrong, my very first reply is open the return on eBay. Sam said that I mentioned I Get like that return car. open, and then you deal with it. Like, if you want a partial refund, as soon as they open up that return, keep messaging them. Hey, would you agree to a, how about I refund you 50%? And then you ain't got to worry about what happens, because once that return's open, Feedback's gone. Sam said that I mentioned that Macari no returns after rating received. Yeah. We tired good times as I hope those people aren't listening. I sold three weeks recently. Mm. I, that's one of the things I was kind of afraid of whenever this whole thing started and like switches. West side Gary. Like here. seeing the prices of this stuff, you know, going up, 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 crazy prices. In the back of my mind, I was thinking I could make some money on this, but they got 30 days to return. And if eBay's keeping on doing what they're doing, extending the return times, like this could come back to bite a lot of people. Hang on. Calvin said, all right, y'all, unfortunately I have to go mow the lawn. You be safe out there, buddy. Have fun. Danny May's here. Hey, Miss Danny May. Westside Gary. Uh, Eric said, I have returns been well over months to wait on a resolution. Yeah. I, I had one for like three months and couldn't get it closed. It is what it is, though, I reckon. All part of the game. Danny May get her sign? But the... Ma the uh, she get her sign? Danny May, did you get your sign? She just asked. But the main thing to remember is, if you're new, don't just... I mean, you've worked hard finding the item. You've worked hard cleaning the item up, testing it, listing it, shipping it. When the first time something happens, don't take it personally. Don't get bent out of shape and freak out. Just know that there's everybody's been through it. There's processes set up to help you. Returns on eBay, have them open it up. There's numerous YouTubers out that can help you. Just 
don't take none of it personally. Unless you screwed up. If you screwed up, then take She it said my partner's going to the post office right now. Can't wait. Awesome. And, awesome. You, and you said Nikki T and them got theirs, right? Right. Sam get his? No, I think Sam's is lost. Oh, that stinks. I'm not sure. It ain't not updated. Just enough to sell those parts. They're stuck. Yep. I actually sold something one time through on parts or repair. And um, I had it in the parts or repair category. And somebody did try to, uh, they opened up and I had no returns. But somehow they got a, a, a return opened as item not as described. And was getting ready to return that joker back. And um, I called eBay and they were like, well, you need to have for parts or repair in the title. No, I don't. It says it right there. It's in the category that y'all made for parts or repair. But anyway, they closed it all out and it was good. But I've heard of other people having that same issue and having parts or repair, no returns, and then eBay still pushing that return to them. Or say, Coach, I got my awesome Georgia sign. I have it displayed in a prominent place. That was so hard for me to purchase that sign. You didn't even buy it. I had to. Courtney did it. <laughs> we seen it. I was over there. I bought that sign right there. See that one? The don't tread and on And the me. one below it. And then my car tag right there. And the flag. Yeah, and I bought them all the same day. And the day I got my flag. And we seen that one sitting there. And I said, well, i got to get it for Rev. He said, Go it, was, it was bad. Jennifer said, I held on to a ton of my son's Xbox consoles controllers for what? I didn't know. Be still on eBay. Learn in progress. Yep. <laughs> no, I'm not. Mm. Any, it's, it's unreal. People just about buy anything on eBay. Danny May said, we were waiting on two other packages, so it's been tough waiting to go to the post office. Oh, um, y'all know Ted Nugent, right? I'm sure you do. He's got some hats. They're Donald Trump 2020 MAGA hats, you know, and he's signing them, but he's only releasing so many at a time. And if you can go to Ted Nugent's website and buy these when they come out, you can get them for, I think, 40 bucks on his website, and they're selling on eBay for over 100 bucks. So. Let's see. Just a quick bolo for you if you're interested. Nikki T said you should have left the flag. Mm. Eric said Colton and sold the same. She Hulk comic sold it for hundred. Wish I had held on to it. And the fall Disney is releasing a She Hulk series. Oh nice! I got all the She Hulks. I think I got everything. She said she had the whole series. I don't know what all I got in them things. I, I got to go through them. I got. Johns that have three Probably returns over 100. for this last year of me starting with eBay. I think that is really good. That is good. That I don't know what my return rate is on eBay. I think it's less than one percent. You can walk outside and try. I have no idea. Hmm. But I found if you, if you take good pictures, you know, and you're honest, you if there's something wrong with it, describe it right. And it, it really don't, if you put your measurements in for clothing, like nine times out of ten, no issues. Actually, probably more than that. Well, I try to do everything. Like, I'm a woman, so I and, think uh, like a woman. A lot so of people will, will um, if they're new to eBay, they'll find something and say there's, they know there's something wrong with this item, but they can, you know, kind of. She said those hats say real like. Yep, those are them. That infer. Only it spells it out. Right. Those are them. And Mickey they sell T good. says she hope equals me when I'm hungry. I don't blame you in the same way. My first item was return, part return. I learned early. My tenth item broke eight hundred dollar radio. Mm, that's horrible. But I have found if you just accurately describe it, you're gonna be okay. But if you go into it and newer eBay sellers are kind of more about this way. If they know something's wrong with it, but they find a way to cover that something up, or maybe they hope the person won't find catch it, it, catch it, they'll say everything's good. And in the back of their mind, they know it's not, and then they sell it, and they get a return, and then they get on YouTube or somewhere gripping about that return whenever deep down they knew about it. And it was their fault, not yeah. the customer's fault. Just about, I would say, 
60% of my returns has been because I missed something. I didn't test something out all the way I should have or something like that, you know. I took a return on the radio and sold it broken tape together with scotch tape for $400. At least you made some of your money back. It's better than nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm going to see if I can do this. What? Take them outside for a minute? Yeah, well, I'm going to try to join in on my phone if y'all want to. We're going to walk outside and see what's going on. If I can. Mm. I, I need to turn it around. How do I turn it around? I don't know. Just. Okay. 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 I need to take it outside. Rookie move. Okay. And then I'll just add you here. Well, hold on. Don't add me yet. Let's see. Sonny's Before here. we wrap this up. Hey, Sonny. What's up, man? Eric, when you come. Courtney, Courtney when you come to. Oh, I'll bring so I have to find you some frog no, legs. No, you won't. I don't eat frog legs. Mm -mm. Buddy, I may go and hold on. Just hit the mic button. Whenever we, um, hold on. Okay. When we got in that car, she was totally freaking out about that thing. Like she was screaming. She gets in the car and throws that Ikea back in the back seat like that. She said, hey, I think I threw something back there with that Ikea bag. This little old tree frog went crawling up the street, the seat. Buddy, she went to screaming. Get out there and get that frog. I made that noise before on my lives. Jumping frog legs. Anyhow, I'll tell you what happened. Well, just crack the door and I'll put you on it. Hmm. Well, you can still show them the cops. Maybe they're taking their time. You're making me sick. Mm. Let's see. Poor Pinto is in here. Richard's in yeah. here. Yeah. Just so Ivan. Hey, glad to have y'all with us here. This Nick. is very kind of impromptu. Nick T said it tastes like chicken. I've heard that, but I'm not brave enough to try it. They used to have this Chinese buffet in the next town over Gadsden, and um, they had frog legs on their menu we used to eat. I'm not screaming. Mm. Cops make for YouTube gold. If I can buy my sunglasses, we're going to go out here and see. Eric said it tastes like chicken cooked in free fish grease. That's gross. What are you looking for? My sunglasses. Okay. Okay. Make sure you turn the volume up so you can hear me. I told you just to crack the door. I don't have to hear you. Hmm. Okay. Wesley Harris is in here. Am I blurry? Maybe. Am I blurry? There ain't very much going on here. It's kind of quiet. See the Can y'all see him? I think he's frozen. I don't know what he's doing, y'all. I can't tell. My, did you lose me? Huh?
Did you lose me? Yeah. They said you were clearer outside, though. Eric said his daughter. There ain't nothing going on out there. They're just sitting in her car. Daughter likes fried lace. Let's see. The Jello joke is my dad joke in the Chinese restaurant. Oh, you missed that, didn't you? Chinese Jello tastes like American Jello. Mm. Uh, did the cops get Colton? I don't know. No, I'm right here. I'm back. They wasn't nothing going For on. For now. They just sit, sitting in the road with the block. Protest is at the courthouse, my brother said. They didn't have mm. a lot of people then. I don't know. He's watching a live stream now. Go figure. Um, Wesley, he said, I saw Jello in China. My wife didn't know about it till we came back to the States. Never saw Jello. I don't think they do Jello in China. I don't like Jello. I don't either. Hmm. I've seen that um, like on National Lampoons. But um, yeah, thank you for hanging out with us today. I'm going to end this, and we got to work for about an hour or two. I'm going to walk uptown, see what's going on. So if I do, I'm going to show y'all on Instagram. So make sure y'all, if you ain't followed me on Instagram, to follow me. And A redneck resale. Yeah. And, yeah. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with us today. Um, there'll probably be a pre-recorded out this evening of our yard sales. I'm going to go ahead and release it this evening as soon as I get done editing it, editing it and get that uploaded because um, I didn't put one out yesterday. Um, so Let's see. Y'all go to that highway sale out there. Which one? I think she's talking about the one. Are you talking about the 127 coming up in August? Robert said. Maybe. But, um, we're yeah, we're going to be releasing a pre-recorded that we recorded this morning, this evening. So, y'all watch out for that if you want to watch it. Um, we started the Amazon series the other day. I got part one and part two, two done up until you make the uh, the account. So, now we're going to move forward from that. And we're going to start scanning stuff, show you how to set up the FBM. She said shoot some video and put it on later YouTube video. Of the protest. I could add it in to my video now. Video I'm editing now at the end of it. Johnny said live today at 4 p.m. Eastern. Yep, Johnny's got his show coming up at 3. She said yes, the 127. Yeah, we're going to go to that. It's um the first weekend in August. So we'll be out there on that. Um, some see what we can find. We've sold on it a few times and done pretty well. Yeah, on the Instagram. I like I like to go to like the the fields where most people don't like you know resellers go, but it's kind of like vendors because they have like hot dog stands and funnel cake stands out there. That's where I like to go. But um, Johnny, it's a great spend of time. Thank y'all well. for hanging out with us. I'm gonna um, get this video edited, walk up town, see if we can get some footage, and, and try not to get hurt. And we're gonna list the rest of the day. Well, while we're here, I mean, we can't go anywhere. Literally, so. they've got the roadblock right in front of the store. So, yeah. Thank y'all all. We'll see y'all later on, and then we'll see you tomorrow. So, bye, guys. Bye, y'all.